episode after. Oh! Hey! How are you? I'm good, good. How you doing? Doing good. Oh, this is uh, quite a surprise. Hello. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm his wife. How are you? It's a pleasure. Thank oh, you thanks. so much. <laughs> things are great. I'm, I'm speechless. He said we were coming up to the third floor. Huh? We have a bigger surprise for you. We've been working on a little something. We're going to put you on the show today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding me. You, you gotta are gonna be come kidding me. And you are gonna be my tag team partner on the show. We're gonna taste some hazy blur. Uh, that's my favorite. Yeah. And so yeah, uh, you ready to do that? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Cool. Let's do it. Hello everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vay Ner Chuck. And this, my friends, is the Thunder Show, aka the Internet's most passionate program and today's show as you just saw the little video beforehand is a little bit of a surprise show very much a surprise show Absolutely. and uh, why don't you tell the Vayner Nation who you are and how this all went down because I'm confused my damn self because I've gotten so many <laughs> shout outs and the brother and the brother-in-law and Viola and Bill and I'm confused completely so all right give it to us all right uh, my name is Bill Brannigan I mm -hmm. recently turned 40 and uh, my brother-in-law Chris Viola mm -hmm. uh, we're both big fans we've been watching for quite a while and I guess he tried to uh, get me on the show uh, successfully. Yes. And uh, here I am today. I'm surprised he didn't show up for it. But now, you know. where do you guys live? Uh, I live in New Jersey, in Little Silver. Uh -huh. and, uh, my brother-in-law Chris lives in uh, Massachusetts. And then what happened? You, I also have given him a shout out. Who did that? Your your sister-in-law. My sister-in-law. Yeah. In like one little small period of time. In like when was that? When did we do that? That well, was February. January. 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 I don't know. Very early in the year, I got like. So many emails, I was confused who's doing what and shout out for this and I got totally confused but you know, we love to do this kind of stuff on the Thunder Show. It's always fun for me to have a Vaniac on the show, uh, especially Little Silver, a place, you know, you don't know this little fun fact, you're going to be upset in a second. Super close to being a wine library in Aberdeen, New Jersey. I almost closed the deal a couple years ago, so we, could, we were almost in Monmouth County. It was a pretty sizable store, so I probably would, I might have even been taping from there. It's a big loss for you. I mean, it's yeah, it close. is, it is, it is. But this isn't that far, so. So we were told that you love Hazy Blur. Yeah, it's my all-time favorite. Of all time. All time. Like yeah. Muhammad Ali style. Uh, all maybe, time, uh, the greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah. So absolutely. I've been there. It's a wonderful place. So I figured we'd do a Shiraz show and wrap around it. Um, and and that's what we've done, Mott. Um, we've got a lot to talk about today. Let me first give a big shout out to the Burns crew in Tampa. I've been meaning to do that forever. Had an amazing. Have you been to Tampa Burns Steakhouse? Steakhouse. That is like the place. Awesome. Have you been there? Awesome. Horrible interior though. Yes. So yeah, you've been. It looks like a yeah, but you an Elks Lodge in there or something. No but doubt. Great steak. Yeah, and not only that, you can order like 1967 Zinfandel from California for like three bucks. Yeah. It's like that ridiculous. Nice tour of the Yes, the they, they love to give you that. Big 21st uh, birthday shout out to Dallas Diaz, and we'll continue with shout outs in a little bit. But Mott, we are here to taste Shiraz today. And you know, I've got to say, I've been hard on Australian Shiraz, mainly because it's just where my palate at is this, these days. But... All in all, the wines from this region have been very good for a long period of time. I do feel a lot of them have gone a little too fake and over the top, but that's on my palate. Clearly, you like the fake and over the top. <laughs> right? I mean, that, you know. Well, I like the hazy blur. We'll see how we do with the Let's other Let's go. Let's start with the Nugent 2006 Shiraz. This is a wine that we are selling the crap load out of. Um, so I want to see what's really going on with this. It's an 88 point J. Miller wine and it rolls in at 10 bones. Um, I've had some Nugans before in the past and I've always thought that they were really good values. My, you want to turn down the music? It's kind of loud, right? The Goonies, man. I'm still playing it from last week. Um, so let's, uh, let's give it a swirl. So you're on the Thunder Show. What do you think about that? It's pretty incredible. I mean, unless I get him on with you. It, it'll never He's be top. He's top. That's right. <laughs> you, 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 he he beat you. It can never he be He got this. you. All right. You ready to give this a, a little bit of a sniffy sniff? Absolutely. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> really? Because I kind of like the nose. I think there's a lot of like purple grape soda kind of thing. You know, a little Welch's grape juice kind of thing going on there. Like the grape soda. You like grape soda? Not particularly, but well, I'm, get, I'm getting a little fun dip but, you know, myself. Yes, I do. Yes, soap. it's a very artificial grape flavoring. Yeah. Um, but this is a classic example. I will consume grape soda Welch's all day long. Not particularly for you. No. Everybody has a different palate, and it's imperative to understand just in general. That is, what is the fundamental breakdown in the wine world right now that 
unlike food, where we do appreciate the fact that other people like different foods, in wine, there feels to be a need to all agree that this is a 93-point phenomenal wine. Do you find that? I find that a lot. And what do you think about that? Well, I, you know, I like what I like. I don't care if it's $8 or $100. I'm not right. going to listen to somebody's rating, but I will try it on someone's rating. Well, that makes Especially sense. Especially yours. Well, I appreciate it. I've bought it. a lot of your rated wines. That's that right, and they've all worked you. out perfectly. Oh, yeah. And the ones that haven't are gifts to other people. That's right. <laughs> Let's give this a whirl. Just one little whirl. What do you think? Fruity. It is little, very fruity, little right? Little too fruity, I think. Little too fruity for you? A little too fruity for me, I think. Um, do you get the? Uh, there's a really interesting mid palate of like jam, like oh, you know what I would almost call it? Like when an ice pop melts. Did you ever, you know, you, like, like one a, of those squeeze ice pops that yeah, you cut the top off of? Yeah, you know, exactly. Those, yeah. And then you just drink the juice. It's like that intense of a flavor. It's like too um, syrupy or something. It is like too that. syrupy. And I was actually thinking not the squeeze one, but do you remember the Minute Maid Triangle ones? The grape, <laughs> it's real thick in there. And yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what this kind of tastes like. There's also a little bit of like a tiny hit of black pepper on the back end. It's got pretty severe tannins on the back. I've been tasting a lot of wine this morning, so I'm a little off. Where, how, where do you feel the tannins are? I, I, think it I think it's, uh, I just think it's too much. It's too much fruit for me. I mean, I... You know, to me, it's got some bitter tones on the finish. It's okay. I mean, it's very serviceable bull for 10 U.S. bones. Um, it's not knocking me out. It's definitely not changing my life. Um, but th there is solid fruit in this, and it's clean, which I appreciate. Its mid palate is actually extremely strong for me. The transition flavor from the initial attack to the to the to the finish. Its finish is really what the problem is for me. You know, to me, it comes up a little bit short and a little bit awkward. What do you think? I, d I just think it's too much fruit, but it's it's definitely drinkable. I mean, I wouldn't throw it back if somebody was the you know for like a bar you know house sure. uh, Shiraz. I, I like don't while think you watch the NFL where... draft. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe the NBA draft. Not the, oh, you need NBA? something. Yeah. Now you need something a little better for the NFL draft, I would think. Maybe, right, that's know. a valid point. <laughs> <laughs> so you're dissing on the NBA, NFL, NBA. Exactly. Okay. Do you exactly. still love the NBA? No, no. Never. No, always a middle of the road NBA. Football's where it's at. Are, you know, you, other than the Jets, you know. Yeah, I mean, wait, wait a minute. Wait, who do you like in football? Wait a Ma, minute. I'm a Cowboy Ma, fan. Mott, did we screen? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> oh, man, you hate the Cowboys. Mott's a Giants fan. I know. I think he's going to, like, block me out here after we had our it discussion. could be some throw <laughs> And I hate everybody equally, so. Uh, I'm going to go 85 points in this wine. I do think it's serviceable. I think it's not something you have to be careful of ordering if it's the only option to me. It's better than a lot of Rosemount and Penfolds options in that same price point. So it's something to go outside the realm of what you normally buy if you're buying the same old Shirazes in that $10 price point. But I do feel the artificial flavor and the finish is a little short. All in all, it's meh. It's not really changing my life, but it's definitely not, you know, something I'm scared of or hate or thought right. was a, you know, appalling. Let's it, move on. It didn't get to 55, basically, no. No, it didn't get to 55 <laughs> from the other day. Epilogue Ridge, 2002 Shiraz. This wine rolls in at 20 U.S. bones. 91 points, Robert Parker. Comes from Heathcote, which is a very interesting little place uh, in Australia that I think gets overlooked because of Barossa and McLaren Vale. Let's do a little rinse. A rinsey rinse, if you don't mind. Cowboys. Tony Romo and all those clowns. <laughs> New stadium coming up for you guys. New stadium should be nice. Not like they need to sell any more tickets, but... Definitely not. 20 Bones, 91 Parker when he used to rate Australia. Now, obviously, Dr. J. Miller is. All right, let's give it a swirl, and let's give it a sniffy sniff. Ready? This actually smells like a wine cellar to me, believe it or not. I don't, and that sounds ridiculous, but what, what I mean by that is... It actually smells like an old concrete cellar, like underneath the ground. It's got some earthy tones going, a little fertilizer Absolutely. action. Some fertilizer, maybe. You like the fertilizer? Maybe. I do. Cellar and I like dust. the mushroom. It does smell like, you know, you're walking into your grandfather's old basement right? from 100 years ago. And you know you're going to find something you could sell on eBay for like 500 bucks, yeah. right? It's like that giddy excitement. <laughs> do you get that feeling? Because I always do when I go into the old basements. This is nice old world attack on the nose. 
I also get a little bit of a greeniness, almost like a Brussels sprout kind of component. Do you get the vegetal kind of thing going on at the tail end? No, but I, 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 you know, you're definitely the professional. Well, I'm not a professional. I just play one on television. <laughs> All right, let's get us a whirl. Now, your wife might be driving, so you don't have to spit if you don't want to. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this? I like it better. Definitely better. What than you, the last How one. about, forget about the last one, in the scope of life. In the scope of life. On a global life, level. I could drink, I, I, you know, I'm going to taste it, but uh, it definitely. Uh, do you get the chocolate? It leaves the palate very nicely. I Isn't think that it, smooth? I, it's very smooth. It's I don't got have a, a lot crazy, of suckering going on in no, there now. Crazy, you know? silky smooth. It's a right. little older. Being an 02, not old by any stretch of your imagination, right. but definitely older than 02 when we have an 05, an 06, and an 06 again. So, you know, an 04, excuse me. Um, very polished. Yeah, it's very smooth. Very smooth. It, it's got I think tremendous. I'm gonna like this. You like it, huh? I think I'm gonna, yeah. We're gonna... See? See, I do that because then they make fun of me and you're tough and I'm a wimp and they love it. Anyway, I get. Very heavy asparagus buds on the top, on the mid palate, almost like a chew, almost like eating, you know, stems from flowers. It's definitely got a greeniness component on the mid palate, but it finishes with pure chocolate polish on the end, like almost like you're polishing your shoes with chocolate. <laughs> I mean, it's really that smooth. It's, it's fudgy to me. I don't know if that's the right word. No, that's good. Fudgy I mean, and it's very smooth. But see, and I enjoy this. Well, fudge is like you think of chocolate right, fudge, right? Deep, you're not though, that rare deep. kind that eats vanilla fudge. No, right? not no. The so white you know, so you know, you're thinking of the chocolate fudge. I mean, it's very deep and dark. Right. This is a food-friendly wine. I mean, I'd love. I, it may be better than a good-friendly wine. I think. Yeah, I, mean. I think you're right. I mean, I'm I'm really into this wine. Do you drink wines from the Rhone? At all. No. Well, that's a major problem. <laughs> but now, I never wait a drank minute. Petit Verdot before I started watching it. Wait a minute. Let me make sure here now. Would you say that you're sitting within a, a pretty much a comfort zone? Maybe you've dabbled a little bit out because of the Thunder Show. Absolutely. But Absolutely. you still haven't gone as far as we need to go. No, no. I need Are to. you telling me here live in front of the Vader <laughs> Nation that you've never had a shot at the pop? I have, but I don't. But run around looking for it. Let's and you've had like two, let's be honest, right? Yeah, there's, I think Four. I have a couple on the rack at home. Yeah. And how many South African Pinotages? Don't lie to the Baniacs. No, no Pinotages. Zero. 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 Uh huh. So. And how about Viognier? No. Not, Zero. No, not that this I can This is okay. Recall. This is making me right. happy. Okay. Now, Quandru from the Rhone, which is a Viognier Marsan, you know, it's a blend of. Right. Have you ever had any I've of this? I've had that. That's good. Now, how about Malbec from Argentina? Yes. Many? Yes. You like those? I like those. You I lit a, up a little bit, like a Christmas tree. I have a friend uh, who is big on Malbec, and I also never drank Red Zin or just regular Zinfandel. Right. And he's you've, very big on that. And have so you, we've been drinking that for a few years now. So you've been hot on that? I've been hot on the Zinfandel, yes. But still, it's, you know, Cabernet, Shiraz. Now, what excites me is that this wine has a very Rome-like character to it. So... I could see you being into wines like Vacaras and Cornas, you know, we did the other day, not to, you know, and because mm -hmm. and, it's got a little bit more of an earthy attack on Shiraz, but still has the fruit and the body. Do right. you see what I'm, yes. what I'm referring to? You want to try a little more? Absolutely. Because I, I think you're thinking about this wine. See, this could, be a, this could be a wine that is a cornerstone wine, a changing, a path changer, like the yellow brick road and you go <laughs> this way, because you may realize now your palate may be leaning towards these Rhone varietal type red wines. And you've never realized it. And never tried. How awesome is this shirt? I love it. I want it. Yeah, that's very nice. It's very bright. Nice. It's polished. It's elegant. It's earthy, yet fruity. It's balanced. I love it. I love the integrity of this wine, if that makes any sense. It's very pure and true, authentic, transparent, and bright, and has enormous smoothness, which is just really... Overwhelming, if you really think it is, about it. It is, it's, especially after tasting the first bottle. I hate to compare the two, but it just it really. Why are you dissing on the Nugent? I'm not dissing on it. It's just you know, I would definitely pick this over. I'm 
I'm feeling this wine. I, I think this is really the kind of Shiraz that I tend to like. Uh, I'm gonna go along with Parker and go 91 plus. I'm gonna throw a little plus on it. How would you rate this wine for you? I would have said a 90. Okay. I would have said a 90. You know, an extremely exceptional value in my opinion. Uh, I can see, this is the, a wine that I've had wines like this time and time again that have been priced in the 40 to 60 range. So at 20 bones, uh, I'm feeling it. You know, as I'm yapping, I'm almost getting a second tier tobacco flavor. Did you get any tobacco? I don't get that, but uh, have you know, ever, I wasn't have talking you ever... as much as you either, so maybe Fit, I, right. maybe I need a, to speak a little why don't more. You, why don't you speak a little bit? Why don't you tell, <laughs> tell a good story? See if the tobacco comes in. Have you ever eaten a cigar? I'll say, no, but smoke. I do smoke. I okay. smoke an occasional cigar. Right, with the boys? Occasional Fuente, yes, which I enjoy. What, at the, at the track wine. or something like that? At the track this weekend, yes. Yes, very good. See? It's almost like I'm you had a hidden camera on me this weekend. You know, I, I better is, not say anymore. This is called intuition. In intuition. All right, let's, uh, let's give a rinse here. Now, this wine I brought because I honestly think is a baby version of Hazy Blur. So I'm curious to see. Have you ever had Glen Eldon? No. Okay. Ma, this is the Glen Eldon 2005 Dry Boar Shiraz from Barossa. This wine rolls in at 21 US bones and is 91 points J. Miller. Um, it's a wine that I've enjoyed in the past. I've not had the 05 vintage, but I remember the 04 being very similar to the 04 Hazy Blur. And so it'll be very interesting to see what happens here. As you can see, already on the color, a little bit darker, a little bit more of a fluorescent purplish kind of glowing component to it. Kind of that deepness that you're looking for. Uh huh. Well, you're looking for the deep. I, I'm looking for that. All I'm right. looking for that. Let's give and us a little bit is, of a uh, sniffy sniff. What are you getting here? I'm not getting anything like the last one. This is very good. Much different. You know what? This is what I love. You're being true. You're not trying to make stuff up to impress everybody in the room. <laughs> well, you, I agree. It's a very tight nose. There's not a lot going on aromatically. Right. I do get a little bit of vanilla and a tiny hint of cedar on the tail end of the nose. There's also a little bit of like a deep, dark black cherry kind of thing going on. Yeah, maybe some currants maybe, I don't know. but not, It's dark it's, fruit. It's not as much as... No, it's you know, clearly it's just, not as aromatic. And then, you know, uh, I know you're big on letting them breathe for totally. a long time. And Which we didn't they do They always yeah. do change. And I noticed totally. that you do let them breathe and then put them back in the bottle, which yep. is kind of interesting for yep. the show. And... Uh, I've tried that at home now, and it does uh, not put it back in the bottle because nobody's taping us. But it definitely nobody's taping you guys. No, because we were taping you this weekend. How did you know about the cigar in this crap? But uh, all right, let's give this a whirl. It's a good time to give a big shout out to uh, um, Captain M and Cap and Capac uh, Concepcion. Their uh, first anniversary. Captain M's been watching from the get go. They were like our Panama contingency. They live in Panama. They're awesome. and Colin Kumar and the Illinois Wesleyan graduating class. They graduated yesterday, we need to give them a big shout out. I mean, this is all I do now. I don't even taste wine. I just come on, tape, give shout outs and leave. This show's gotta go an hour now. <laughs> it's the half hour's gotta, yeah. We gotta cut to an hour. You got too much going Let's on. Let's give this a whirl. Did you try it already? I saw I you tried. drinking already. You've been drinking, right? This wine has balls, huh? But polished. Ooh, do you get the pomegranate? Very polished. Very do you, have you ever fruity had yet polished. Have yes. you had pomegranate? Pomegranate. Do you taste it? It's pretty massive to me. Are not, you getting, are you getting, not, not the seeds. Are you getting a little? Are you getting a little? No, so, no, no, no. Are you getting it? A little. Like there's the vanilla oakiness kind of coming through. A little oakiness. It's like it's not, grabbing not the at you. It's like over though. here. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, be careful. He'll come from the backside. Um, I get very heavy doses of pomegranate. I get also a grape Laffy Taffy component. Do you remember Laffy Taffy's? Sure, you just pull it apart. Do yeah, you taste it's that? Right it's heavy it's on this one. It's very heavy on this one. Like when I said that, you were like, too. son of a bitch, the yeah. kid knows what he's talking See, about. Yeah, I'm it's looking like, for the, you know, I thought you'd have a card up there with all the names. <laughs> the, the, the right with the black marker. I'm still waiting to taste um, the rusty nail, but. No, no, no rusty nail here. <laughs> no. I think we're getting really heavy dose. I mean, like, exceptionally obvious Laffy Taffy. As a matter of fact, some term, I haven't used that in a lot of all mott, and it hit me hard, and I'm really tasting it. I do get a little hint of mocha on the back end. Uh, like, not mocha, almost like 
chopped up chocolate, like dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate, where it has a little bitterness on the tail end. It's almost like a, it t- like a chocolate coffee to me. Just like right? a little chocolate coffee. Yeah, I mean, that, that's where I'm going with the mocha kind of, you know. Um, I like the finish. It does feel like it gets empty for a second. Does that make any sense to you? Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's gone much earlier to me than I think it Even should be. Even the last one, right? Last and considering how big longer. it is, it should, right? Right, but it's, I think it's You know who it reminds good. me of? It reminds me of Michael Grant. Do you know who Michael Grant is? No. He was a heavyweight boxer. He recently, in the last couple of years, he looked like Godzilla. He was massive. He was built like a diesel truck. He was bigger than Lennox Lewis when they fought. Like, monstrous. But he, like, fell every time. He fell. Like, any punch, he was ghost. Big pushover. He really was. That's what this wine kind of reminds me of a little bit, right? Like, it gets into your mouth, and, and it's, it's very massive. Nice, but it does tail off And it goes, goes to sleep. M- much quicker than I expected. You're disappointed by the finish. Well... You know, I, I didn't I'm make, looking listen, at I'm looking at some, I don't care. I'm, I'm looking at the price too, thinking, wow, at twenty one dollars, you know, twenty one bones, it's right. uh, it's quite tasty, you know. But I think we're just uh, we're so in tune to you know looking at the price and thinking it should be decent at twenty one dollars or really good. But it, it is decent, but it does leave much earlier. I'm surprised how short the finish is. What would you rate a wine like this personally? Eighty six. You're really tough, huh? I think this is an 87 point wine. Okay. Give the kid a chance. All right, 87. I'll give it 87. Um, but definitely struggling on the finish, and uh, and that's a problem. Now, Mott, I'm going to take this time. I'm going to interrupt this program for a big announcement. I decided last night, in the shower, by the way, it's where all my great thoughts come from. I don't know if I want to hear this. Okay, you do, you do. It. Get close. <laughs> Why should I and Mott decide where the book tour is going? Right? I mean, we pick these dates. It's only, it's only your book tour. I don't know. I don't care. That's not what we're about. Why should we decide? So, Mont, we've decided we're going to open up the book tour. I will go anywhere in America if you get the bookstore and you have 150 people confirmed. Are you going to bring the book? Look at you, Mont. You're good. Right on cue. I think I signed this one. Oh, no. Anyway, I am going to let you guys decide the book tour. So, Mont, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new thread post, a whole new category in the forums. Mont, link that up. What we're going to do is, whether you want to use Facebook, you know, events, or Plaxo, or Upcoming. Do you know Upcoming.org? It's an amazing site. Do okay. you know it? No, I don't know. You need to check it out. Whatever you decide. Now, Mont, link this up. This is what somebody did last night, because I did Twitter about this idea. Link this San Diego thing up. It looks like we're going to San Diego. Uh, looks like we're very close to going to Des Moines, Iowa, which I'm excited about. Surprising. Yeah, you think, well, you don't realize how worldwide I am. Uh, obviously not. In pockets. It's not just a jersey. No, I know. Um, so here's what we're going to do. In the months of June and July, if you start some threads, I'll, I basically am available for a lot of dates. Please contact me if you've got a date in mind once you have the bookstore. But if any bookstore is going to hold it and you want to take advantage of it, I am opening up the book tour completely to the Vaniacs. I'm opening it up. Transparency. Web 2.0, baby. Why <laughs> should we decide? If they want to have it in Orlando and 150 people show up, I'm coming. That's right. Go where the people are. Fish where the fish are. You're in control. Mott, start the links. We'll talk more about it tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I'll go into detail on another video, Mott. Maybe we'll tape that after we do this, and we'll link that up too as well, because we've got to open this thing up. All Sounds right. good. Now, you're, I don't know. you're Have you had the 04? You're not sure. I, I understand if you're not sure. No, I did have the... Well, now, this is the, this is the right. Invictus, right? That you have? Let me see. Nope, this is the Hazy Blur. No, I haven't had this. Okay, so you haven't had this. No. So this is the Hazy Blur, McLaren Vale. This is a nice package, huh? Uh, Shiraz. Now, this wine is very sought after. A lot of people like it quite a bit. It is a wine that rolls in at 34 US dollars. Now, this is very much, you know, Herschel Walker's number. So you should feel good about that. Yes. Um, it's also Charles Oakley's number, so I feel good about that. <laughs> he was the oak man. Or the oak, did they call him the oak tree? They called him the oak tree. I loved him. 34 bones, 93 Parker. You've scored it as high as 100, I've heard. Well, not the 04, but some of the other, the older ones, or even the Invictus, the other uh, yep. level of this is just, I think it's an unbelievable. Over so, the top. Monstrous, big, bold, explosive fruit, right. punch you in the neck kind exactly. of wine. Exactly. And that's what you like. And I think, as I recall, a slightly higher alcohol content. Oh, this wine does not, this is not bashful. This wine is rolling in at, let's see, let's see, it's so high they don't even want to put it anymore. (laughs) I don't see it there, I don't see it there. Oh, here it is. Only 14.5 they're claiming. Claiming. Taxes. Saving money. That's right. You got to pay taxes on your alcohol content. Just always remember that every country gives you a little leeway. I think it's a point in America. Anyway, 
Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you very much for having me. You having me. a good time? I'm having You're a blast. You're still like, what the hell is going on? Somewhat, but, you know, a right. couple glasses it, of wine, I'm moving right a, in. Let's give it a snippy sniff. Chalky, huh? Like like shredded up chocolate a little bit. Like I get like a dustiness. Dusty cocoa. What do you get? Kind of that. Kind of like that. You know, when you're a kid and you open up that Swiss Miss package, you know, mm -hmm, exactly. right when you open it up, you know, you used to the puff out at like, you, you know, yeah. you couldn't control that. You got dust no. all over the counter. You could only hope to contain it. It contain it and get <laughs> as much as you can into the glass. Kind of awkward nose. Do you almost get like a fresh minty kind of thing, even though you know it's not there? It's like a, like a, like a spray, like a, like a aerosol, think, or like something like, like that pine tree you put in the car, you know? Like, the the you, dangling pine yeah, tree on yes. the uh, steering wheel? You put it on Again. the steering wheel because I put it on the. Uh, the on the yeah, I put it on the shifter, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> All right, let's give us a whirl. Might remind me to put my tree on the steering wheel when I get out of here. It's very smooth, but. Surprisingly, a little bite at the end, which I'm yeah. surprised at. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a bite, right? Smooth, but a little bite, which I wasn't prepared for. You're shocked by the so. bite. It's kind of like a six-year-old that gets nipped by a dog and then hates dogs for the rest <laughs> of their dogs. lives. Yeah, I have one of those. <laughs> it's very inky, if that makes sense. I almost feel like if squid ink was fruity, this is what it would taste and smell like. Yeah, it's got, it's, it's got the color. It's got everything... Really intense fruit. I do get a a second tier. I think the tannins are actually going to calm down because they're kind of sweet yeah, on the back very end. Very sweet. And then they do get bitter for a little bit, but I'm kind of okay with that. It's a well-made wine. It's got some oomph. To me, it's not as good as the epilogue, um, which I really think is really. An I think the epilogue was much smoother. Why don't you do this? Much smoother on the finish, and uh, and much more polished than I was. You know, expecting. Yes, as you preconceived what this was going to be, you didn't expect, <laughs> right? Well, unfortunately, yes. Well, I hear you. That's how it works. Let me try it as well with you. Let's just try this one more time. Back to the hazy blur. I think it's a wine that you really need to consider to put away for three to five years. I do feel like it's a wine that really needs to accompany food. You, you know, a wild boar meal, for example, I think would really pair nicely with it. On the Glen Eldon, to recap, I, I just think it's a wine you need to pass on. I just think, you know, having that lack of a finish at 21 bones is really not a play. The Nugent, I'm telling you, is still very serviceable wine. I feel okay with that. And this epilogue. What are you thinking? Now after some of the wines that have more fruit, you're going to get a right. little more earthy, right? You got right to the earth tones right away right? as soon as you smell Because that's what's going to happen. They're going to equal each other out and you're going to get what's different. Right. And it's much smoother and much more polished. You know? But I agree with the, with the Hazy Blur. I think if you leave it on the shelf for a few years, you know, at 34 bucks, this I is think, good. Yeah, this is good. You like this? This is good. I like Admit this it. a lot. I, you I can't lie. like an upset special. Uh, somewhat. Bit. Uh, you're, you're a little you know, caught off guard. Like the Jets beat in Pittsburgh. I mean, something you don't expect, and all of a sudden, we out of nowhere. Pittsburgh. Out of nowhere we just they... beat them this year. <laughs> it was like a, one of our only wins. It was an upset, in my opinion. But... It was a massive upset. <laughs> I wish we lost. We had a, Well, we still got Golston, so I'm happy. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to score the Hazy Blur a 90-point score. I think it's got some good potential. I'm not scared at 34 bones. I do think the epilogue is the, is the creme de la creme of this batch. Yeah, no, I'm going to agree I with mean, you. I mean, as tasting it right now, it's almost delicious. It makes me want to bite it and drink it. Yeah, it's very good. It's got it's like very it's, smooth. It's got a seductive flavor where you just want to like drink it. And that's what you want, you want. Especially a twenty one box. I mean it's a daily sure. bottle. Mm. Twenty bones. Mm. Thomas Jones. The better of the Jones brothers. <laughs> All right. Question of the day. If you watch the Thunder Show, you know what's gonna happen next. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ask away. Question of the day. Not pertaining to anything. You can do whatever the heck you want. It's your day. Okay. I mean, you wore the shirt. If you, yeah, you can't beat the shirt. the shirt. She, she talked me into it. And you notice it's the inside cuff that really gets me. You see what he did here? I'm feeling it. Go ahead. If you, if you couldn't drink any wine every day, what kind of beer would you drink? Great question. If you had to drink a beer rather than the wine. I think most of the Nation loves beer. I love they beer. Do. You love beer? I love beer. But I had 20 people over the other day. Nobody had a beer. Really? Everybody wine drank down. wine. Wine down. Things are changing. They are. 
Do you think that... I the think the show show? has a lot to do with it. You think it. We're, we're fundamentally changing I'm the world. I'm drinking Zinfandel, you know, and Shiraz. I used we're going to gonna go down and get some serious stuff. I mean, we gotta, okay. we got to change your palate. You're just too much in a box. <laughs> I'm with you. It's cowboy fans. You! With a little bit of me and guys like this. You had a good time? I had a blast. Thank awesome. you very much. We're changing the wine world.